You do have your gun out of your holster? Yes, I do. At my side. Okay. I'm not pointing it at you, but I have it at the low ready in case you were to do something offensively against me. Hey, how you doing? Those guns on you? I'm sorry? Gun? Yeah, I got my 45. You got a pistol permit? No, sir. No? Okay, I want you to set that thing down real. I want the oh. pull down. Okay. Put your hands up over your head. Okay, I want to make it very clear. I do not consent to any searches or seizures okay. on my property. That's nice, but you're not moving until I get another unit here. You That's understand. fine. I understand. And you do not have a pistol permit. Not for open carry, no. I'm fishing and open carrying. At this point, you're detained until I determine what's going on here. Do you understand that? I understand. Alright. Do you have identification on you? Or no? uh, I do. It's in my pocket. Alright. All right. Don't go for it. I'm not. I'm not. Somebody called you in wearing the gun and suspicious. Okay. Obviously. And we're going to go ahead and conduct an investigation. As soon as another unit gets here. Okay. Understood. Are you with uh... I'm with the city of Ormond. Okay. Do you have a name and badge number? Yes, I do. I'll give you my business card at the conclusion. Of this. Okay. Can I go ahead and get your name and badge number? Would that be yeah, right? my badge number. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Sergeant Dog. Okay. Ten Alpha Pencil. We don't use those. I'll give you my computer ID. Understood. 1012 is signal zero, and I'm standing by for another unit. Do you live in the area? Um, I'm not answering any questions. Okay. What type of weapon is it? Uh, I'm not answering any questions, sir. I'll give you my name since I'm being detained. My name is Jeffrey Marcus Gray. I'm sorry, Jeffrey Marcus Gray? Yes, sir. Born January 8th, 1970. Other than that, uh, I'm not answering any questions. That's your constitutional right. Okay. Is your ID through the state of Florida? Uh, sir, I'm not answering any questions. Well, that question is not subject to any criminal act. Right. That is just to identify... I, I'm a resident Florida. of Florida. Okay. So you're 74 for no, you don't have to, you don't have right. to self-incriminate under the Fifth Amendment. Right. But there are, there is information that you'll have to provide me that okay. has nothing to do with that. Right. I'm just gonna. Can I just adjust this camera strap because it's kind of pulling on my neck? You don't take your hands off your. Head. Okay. You do have your gun out of your holster? Yes, I do. At my side. Okay. I'm not pointing it at you, but I have it at the low ready in case you were to do something offensively against me. Understand? I do not consent to any searches or seizures of my property. taken care of. I'm going to remove this from you, sir. Do you have any other firearms or weapons on you that we need to be concerned about? I have one that's in a concealed, a concealed weapon. It's in my right side and inside the waistband holster. Okay. He's got one on I the do not, waistband there. I do not consent to any searches or seizures of my property. They are locked and caught. Be careful. Do you have any other weapons that we need to be aware of? I have two magazines in my left pocket. Other than that, there's no weapons. Uh, okay. Left pocket? Cargo pocket? Yes, sir. Any knives or anything that's going to no. stick me? Uh, regular pocket. At this point, we're going to place you in handcuffs. You're a detained pursuant of investigation. You're not under arrest, but this is for your safety and ours. Do you understand that? I do understand. Yeah, like you're
your wallet is in your cargo pocket? My wallet, yes sir. And you, you said you had identification in that? It's in my, this pocket here. Right. We appreciate your cooperation. Understood. Where's your ID at in here? Uh, it should be in that front slip. This one? Uh, no, this up one? there, where your fingers are, tip of your fingers are. Right here? Uh, no, right there, where your thumb is, yes. Officer Evans, would you read him his constitutional rights before we proceed any further? He's already invoked, but I wanted to be aware of what his constitutional rights are. And then he can make an informed decision. He probably already does. But... What's your name, sir? Uh, he's got it right there, Jeffrey Marcus Gray. Mr. Gray, I'm Officer Evans from the Orange Beach Police Department. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used as evidence against you. You have the right to talk to an attorney. Have him or her with you now or at any time during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you. If at any time you wish to stop talking or have an attorney present, all questions will be stopped at your request. Do you understand these rights, sir? I understand. Thank you, sir. You care to tell me what's going on today while you're walking around with all these guns sticking out everywhere? Uh, I'm fishing and I'm open carry while fishing, which is perfectly legal in the state of Florida. And other than that, I'm not answering any other questions. Okay. If you guys check out Florida Statute 790.25. What statute? 790.25. What does it say? Subsection H. It While say? hunting, fishing, camping, or traveling or to or from such an event, it is legal to open carry in the state of Florida. I'm We'll confirm that, and I think you're right. And I don't know that it's open carry, though. I know you can carry. Yes. I don't know that it's open carry, but, but you're, we're gonna, you're correct. We're going to review the statute, but along with that, you're also concealed carrying a firearm. Correct. Which is not legal going to. Do you have? Did you see my permit in my wallet? No, we didn't go through your wallet. We haven't gone through your I asked you if you had a pistol permit, and you said you were not going to answer. If you have a pistol permit, then it's perfectly legal. Right, you were referring to the open carry then. No, no, I was refer I asked you if you had a pistol permit in general. I didn't know. I misunderstood your question. Okay. Then that's fine. We're here okay. to conduct the investigation. If you have a pistol permit, you're coming to and from fishing, we'll verify all that. If everything is uh, all right, we'll return your firearms to you and let you be on your way. Where's your permit at? It's in that wallet. Again, understand I'm not consenting to any searches or anything, so. Where's your permit? Uh, Behind the picture of my wife. Which one? This one? Yes, sir. Yes, but you are subject to produce the permit upon demand, and I asked you if you had one, and you wouldn't even answer. Oh, no. Is that not correct? I said I do not have an open carry permit. I asked you if you had a pistol permit. I didn't ask about open carry. That's probably the right statute if you would check it out. <coughs> and you do understand that we have the right as police officers detaining you to relieve you of your firearms until we conclude the stop. I disagree with that. Like I said, for I'm our not, safety. I'm not answering that. Okay. Well, that's a. Uh, Other than that, I disagree. That's fine. I mean, you're, it's America. You have the right to agree and disagree. Right. Got my business card and my ID number for you, sir. Understood. Thank you. If everything affirms out, as I said before, we'll go ahead and release you. If I might make a recommendation, I'm not asking you a question, mm -hmm. I'm making a recommendation. Since you have a concealed weapons permit uh, in the future, again, I would say that you might want to, however many guns you carry is your business, not mine, mm -hmm. but if no statutes were violated, I would say that common sense would dictate you might want to wear them all concealed. Not say you have to, if that's how the statute bears out, mm -hmm. I would say that common sense so that you don't run into situations like this. I am a firm believer of the ownership of firearms, your First Amendment right. Are the cuffs too tight on you? No, nah, they're, they're fine. It's just my arm kind of cramped up. Okay. That's all. The, the cuffs are fine. They're not tight or anything. Okay. I'm a firm believer of the First Amendment, and I would try 
always never to do anything to uh, cut into your rights on that. At this point, we're just, as I said, we're detaining you. If everything checks out, we'll be on your way. I, but I would, I myself wear my firearm off duty, and I always were required by policy to have a jacket or something over it. But I would recommend the same for you because then you don't make other people in the area nervous. You know, statutorily that may not be a prerequisite, but common sense. But just to save yourself having the police officers call to check you out every single time. I'll be back. Hey Sergeant, if you would, uh, can you return my firearm? We are about to. Um, just, can you just put it in my car for me? I don't want to have it in my we hand like or anything. We would like to do it that way too. Okay. My business card, sir? Okay. As soon as you reclaim your property and then we'll uh, escort you over with your firearms to your vehicle. Okay. We appreciate yes, your sir. cooperation. Yes, sir. Can I put that in my pocket? Yes, you may. Okay. okay. Thank you. People aren't used to people walking around with guns like that, like the wrong way. So they're, they're going to call too, just so you know. Especially not at a fishing pier like this. Now, if it was out in the middle of the woods, that's one thing. <laughs> you're talking about you're in a residential area. Right. It's not like you're going to have any bears trying to steal your fish. Got them secured. It's not like you're going to have to worry about bears coming trying to steal your fish or nothing. That's Do you mind if I, do you have a business card? They they are loaded. I mean, they have one in the, in the chamber, so. Just we be treat aware. all weapons as if they're loaded. Okay. Just right over here. Nothing's been uncased or tampered with. Understood. Okay. Sure. Have a good one. You have a better day, sir. Thank you.